Hey, Shalom Makim. This is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Uh, double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that rule well, and greetings and blessings to all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so. Okay. And as you can see here, I have on the screen uh, the word mercy. Okay, and this is uh this is a one of the one of the, uh, the most heaviest words in the scripture, man, because this is basically what everything boils down to, man, because we understand that we serve, a, a, man, we, a, man, we serve a great and dreadful power, man, you know, and the only reason we can, um, we can partake of this beautiful, um, this beautiful thing of ours is because he had mercy on us, okay? And that's why I'm, I'm titling, it, titling this video, um, it could be worse, okay? And it could, man, it could, you know? And you, you, you look back and you reflect on your life and you see where you were and all those, you know, the trials and tribulations you went through, you know, even before coming into the faith, man. And it's like, wow, you know? Now, you know, Lord willing, we, you know, uh, we've been called, but uh, Lord willing, we, we're, we're chosen. But um, you know, no, we're not thinking. We're not uh, thinking outside of us being chosen. We're we're hoping to be chosen, and um, you know that's a part of that hope and faith. Okay, so, but um, in retrospect, you look back and you see, you know, you see um, basically everything that happened in your life was setting you up for for this moment, man. For you to be uh, prophesying and bringing out the truth of the of the Holy Bible, man. And, and and um exhorting others to uh to seek salvation okay you know no matter what it was you know you know close calls with death um you know shiesty ass nigger friends you know nigger women that shitted on you you know all that type of stuff you know and then you know just uh wrong turns that you could have made you know and you go to grow to understand that the most high basically, you know, was guiding your steps the whole way, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, but the reason the, the 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 ultimate purpose that we found our way here to this little thing of ours, man, this 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 little sanctuary of truth, man, is because the most high had mercy. So let's let's read the definition. It says uh compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone whom it is within one's power to punish or harm, okay? And that's perfect analogy, perfect definition for, um, you know, uh, or, or a perfect character, a perfect um, explanation of uh, one of uh, the top characteristics of our Heavenly Father, which is mercy, man, you know? The water, the water, the water, you have by Shemiah al because it could have been worse, man. And it was like a, you know, most brothers have had a breaking point when, um, you know, or or, or it was a that, that uh, proverbial fork in the road where you could have went left, but you went right, you know. And um, we know through the through the scriptures that the reason we went right is because um, uh, Lord willing, man, we we were predestined to be saved, man, and that's what we're doing it for, you know. That's why scriptures speak about giving uh giving diligence to make that call of election sure. Okay? Because you 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 uh that's that's uh one of the that is the greatest honor for the most high to have mercy upon you, man. Cause hey, we all wretched men. We all uh have sinned and fallen short of the glory. We all deserve death. But yet here we are teaching this word, you know, in complete boldness and um and um being able to um to fellowship with like-minded men. That's the most ultimate show of mercy. And then, well, Salakia, that's uh, the second most show of mercy. The, the the top show of mercy is to be delivered from uh, ther thermonuclear warfare and plagues and pestilence and all the hell that the Heavenly Father is bringing on the earth. Okay? But um, like, I, like, like the title says, man, it, it, it could have been worse. Even, you know, even on the micro level, you know, with the little situations that you face, you know, everyday struggles, whether it be car trouble, you know, uh, finances, um, woman trouble, you know, just always, that's, that's what I always, um, 
like try to voice to the brothers, man. You know, you know, especially when they ask me how how I've been. You know, you know, what, regardless if I'm okay or having a shitty day, I, I always reply it could have been worse. You know, so hey, and that's the uh, proper uh, the right mentality having this truth, man. So um, by default, you 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 prep your mind to keep keep trucking. So, um, yeah, I'm going to jump into some scriptures just to edify the point that it could have been worse. Okay. Um, this is, uh, let's go to, this is Ezra. This is Ezra 9. And I started, uh, mm, let me see. Uh, Ezra 9 and 13. And it says, and after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds. Okay. And this is basically Ezra speaking to the people, you know, um, after he's uh, given the charge to go back and build a temple, you know, build back up Jerusalem. Um, you know, basically uh, giving them an overall understanding, man, that, you know, we went off the reason that we went into every captivity we've been a part of or been captive, uh, every nation we've been captive to is because we are our evil deeds, you know. And we, we made a covenant with the Heavenly Father, and we downright and deliberately broke it, you know. So, <laughs> hey, we, we deserve everything we've got, okay. But this is uh, Ezra 9 and 13. And after all that has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that thou, our power, has punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such deliverance as this, okay. And now, in this instance, it was speaking of being delivered, you know, uh, you know, basically from the, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, the um, metal Persian Empire being being granted to go back and build up the temple, you know, and that was considered the deliverance, you know, but um, we can relate that to these times, you know, even even coming into the knowledge, that's a deliverance being delivered out of the world into this beautiful knowledge. But the point is, man, we deserve we deserve to be punished worse, you know, than 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 we've been punished. You know, we deserve worse than uh, seventy A.D. Uh, we deserve worse than, um, you know, the transatlantic slave trade and gator bait, you know, and um, uh, women's babies being cut out of their stomach. We deserve worse than that, and it's obvious. And then you look at once you wake up and you see the state of our people, man, how. How fucking wicked they are, man. Yeah, yeah. Like nuclear missiles. That's, that's, uh, that's, and I hate to say it like this, but the most high could have punished us, uh, uh, punished our people worse than nuclear missiles. How? I can't fathom it right now, but, yeah, we, we talking about the most high, man. So, you know, all things are possible. But, uh, yet and still, yeah, we, hey, for our deeds, man, we deserve worse. Yet, we serve a merciful power, man. And we're here today speaking in righteousness and truth and have turned our lives around. Why? Only because of his mercy. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going um, to throw a little curveball. Let's go to uh, Obadiah. And it says, um, mm, yeah, I'm going to throw a little curveball. Curve ball. Uh, let's see. Let's, uh, bear with me. Okay, over die one and fifteen. It says, "For the day of Yahweh, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done. It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. For as ye have drunk of my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah." They shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. Okay. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, have spoken it. Okay, so hey, it could have been worse. You could have been a heathen, you know. 
getting ready to face this this onslaught of uh, uh, pure uh, uh, hardcore bondage and, and, and just you know <laughs> ass kicking man for a thousand years. Okay, you, hey, it could be worse. You could be a heathen, or even worse than that, you could be an Edomite. Okay, who's gonna serve out a thousand years of slavery and then be abolished as a nation of people? Okay. <laughs> you know, you, you all, all these things, man. We got to look at the, the downside of these scriptures, man. Like the scriptures say, eat the whole roll. You look at the, the, the downside and, the, you know, the um, <laughs> the backlash for those who have touched the apple of the most high's eye and say, hey, it could be worse. I could be a heathen, you know. The water you have by you shah and use it and you throw it in your furnace, you know, or, or, or your uh, spiritual spiritual mo locomotive and keep it trucking man because you could be an edomite yeah that's 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 rough there you know um but hey once again just showing his mercy why because he chose israel you know and the water how about shimmy outside we 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 know you know the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high that we are israelites okay and that's a hey, every everything it, it, that that's the um that's the basis of salvation okay those are the only people that will be saved and not even all of those people okay so it could be worse man we could be walking around blind out here in 2018 in the last seconds of this movie man you know not knowing what you know who we are and what's about to happen and it's nothing nothing <laughs> nothing is worse than that man you know 2018 the information age with a urine and thumb on your hip Nothing is worse than that, okay? But, um, can we get another scripture? This is, um, uh, let's see. Let's go to Isaiah 1. This is, um, mm, uh, start at 8. Okay, I'll start at 7. Isaiah 1 and 7. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, uh, strangers devour it in your presence. And it is desolate as overthrown by strangers.